Hey friends, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. I want to ask you if you have subscribed uh, to Ask Dr. Betters. You can do that. It's free, and I hope that you will take advantage of that. Plus, our app is also free. It's called Help and Hope. Go to your favorite app store and download Help and Hope. Give you a feel for everything that we're doing here at Mark Inc. Ministries. But I think it's important as you, that you subscribe uh, to Ask Dr. Betters and you won't miss a thing. Uh, 10,000 others have done just that and I hope that you will become part of our Ask Dr. Betters family. You know, I don't know where this question is coming from. It's a good question because there are, there are critics of the Bible that like to take things from the Bible to disprove the Bible. They like to take a, a certain situation that occurred and say, well, if that occurred, then how can that be scientifically or otherwise? Well, this question comes from Carlene, who says, I have a question. If God took a rib from man to make woman, why do we both have the same amount of ribs on earth now? Shouldn't men be a rib short? You know, I've heard this question before, and it usually comes, and Carlene, I'm not saying it's coming from you, but it usually comes from critics of the Bible who look at something from a scientific point of view and say, well, that couldn't be, because if Adam had one of his ribs taken, then their offspring would have been short one rib. At least at least the, the, the male part would have been. And uh, on and on it goes because we know today scientifically that uh, men and women have the same number of ribs. Man is not one rib short. Well, you know, uh, Carlene, there is a medical condition uh, that is called supernumerary ribs. It affects about one half of 1% of the population. And typically, they develop on the last vertebrae of the neck, the seventh cervical vertebrae above the normal first rib. They're called cervical ribs, and they usually develop in pairs, although some people may only have one cervical rib. Supernumerary ribs can also grow out of the lumbar spine, rib number 12 but this only develops in about 1% of the population. Well, it appears as though Adam was created with one extra rib, either a cervical rib uh, or a lumbar spine rib. Uh, and he didn't have the normal number that most people do. So God took that rib out and that's the rib that he made Eve from. So that now after the rib surgery of Adam, Adam had the same number of ribs as everybody else. It's a very rare condition. It's not passed on from generation to generation. And who is to say that God couldn't have given him that one extra rib with the understanding that that rib was going to come out and from that rib, he would create Eve. Well, the point being that God out of man made woman. Out of man's rib, God fashioned a woman. The idea here was to show the connection between male and female. That's why they are, they are called male and female. He created them and they are called man, meaning mankind. And God did that with the one extra, in my opinion, with the one extra rib that Adam had. Not an existing rib that all generations would follow with. I hope this helps you to understand that the critics of the Bible usually pick things like this. I'm not saying you did, but uh, just so you can have your defense up from those who try to argue against the science of the Bible, uh, that there's usually an explanation and the medical condition 
which is commonly known today, uh, probably is the medical condition that Adam had. It wasn't a, a sinful condition. It was just the way God created him for the purpose God created him to use that one extra rib uh, to deal with the creation of Eve. Hope this helps. Hi, my name is Melissa Weisenfels, Executive Director here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so very much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed.